Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today I rise to honor the heritage, culture, and immense and amazing contributions of Latinos to the United States by introducing a bicameral resolution recognizing September 15th through October 15th as Hispanic Heritage Month. When you walk into my office, both in my Washington DC office and the San Fernando Valley office where I represent, you will notice a very important picture of two hardworking gentlemen, two generations of Mexican immigrants, my father and my mother's father, smiling while crouching down picking potatoes in the very hot Stockton, California sun. No matter how exhausted, how busy, and how much pain they endured, they never complained. And they took the time to pause and smile because they were so proud to be able to do a hard day's work, an honest day's work, right here in the United States of America. That same grit and positivity that they demonstrated in that photo are values carried by Latinos throughout our country's history. Farm workers, astronauts, scientists, many amazing contributors to our great country. Latinos who've helped keep our country operating before the pandemic, through the pandemic, and still to this day. And it's those same values and stories, those of individuals, many of them immigrants, who encompass an unwavering spirit of perseverance. These are the true stories that will be told at the National Museum of the American Latino. Latinos have been in what is now the United States for hundreds of years. So that current and future generations have the opportunity to visit the National Mall and experience our beautiful history, culture, and contributions that make us the greatest nation in the world. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful National Mall will soon have a Latino Museum on it so that people from all over the world can appreciate the amazing contributions that Latinos have been making to this great country and this continent for hundreds and hundreds of years. I urge my colleagues in the House to join me in recognizing these amazing contributions of Latinos of the United States and to encourage everyone to recognize that we are a great country. We are an eclectic country and we do have much to be proud of. We, as Americans from every part of this world who have made this country their home, to people who are Latinos, who it's sad to hear that just a few minutes ago, that even members of Congress will say derogatory things about the southern border and make people believe that you should be afraid of immigrants who come to this country, to who seek a better life. People who come to this country and do the jobs that most Americans, including me, really don't want to do, but need to be done. If you're a senior in the United States of America, it's very likely as you get older and you need somebody to help you on your day-to-day -day life, it's probably somebody with an accent. And yes, I smile when I say that. Somebody who gives their love and commitment to that person who deserves the dignity of being cared for. Many, many times, it's an immigrant. And many, many times, seguro que si, hablan español. They speak Spanish. Like my grandfather who came to this country, my mother who came to this country, and my father who came to this country. My grandfather had no formal education. My mother and father only first and second grade education. Why did they come to the United States? Because they knew that this was a country of opportunity. And although they suffered many indignities of racism and derogatory comments toward them or what have you, they raised 11 American-born citizens in what some people would call a very tough neighborhood. I say a very beautiful, challenged neighborhood, but a beautiful neighborhood at that. And now their youngest son, I get to be a United States congressman to contribute to this country as a U.S. citizen and a representative of the community that I was born and raised in, yet at the same time to advance what is good about our country and to be an example to every single one of us. 
We live in a great country, the United States of America, and Latinos have always made contributions. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back.